All right, back to the summit. This thing should have been finished a long time ago, but as these things tend to do when you're working on something, you know, that's 15 years old, it, um, well, I've had to crack a few eggs to make this omelet, so to speak. Long story short, I'll be ditching these Savox servos, ditching a dual servo setup in general. I should have never done that. That's what I get for trying to save a buck. Should have, uh bought once and cried once and been done with it so now i intend to just put one one super duper strong servo in here and uh do away with this whole setup i've got the the aluminum bell crank and it's it's a lot sturdier the, the one in these summits stock is real weak like this one's a little tougher to get to give and man, this one's just crap I don't it, you know really limited by that doesn't matter how great a servo you have if your bell crank sucks so anyway had oh my gosh the differential the rear differential has been such a mission I didn't even really intend to do much to it I was gonna put the leading edge machine gears in it and the aluminum uh, housing or not the housing but the the cup the diff cups and uh, so I go to put that in there and I found well the internal gears the spider gears all that stuff looked great but my ring and pinion were pretty shot and my bulkhead was shot <laughs> um, learned quite a bit of weird stuff about the summit and this I've had this apart quite a few times now over and over and over and it's it's amazing how much these these screws here how important they are to keeping the bulkhead tight around the differential so the old one the old skid plate here because the skid plate comes down and it's held on by these two bolts well the first one was broken here so it wasn't attached to this side and that allowed just a little wiggle space in that bulkhead and that little wiggle space allowed well, see how that's moving? It, it was a good, I don't know, eight times worse than that. I mean, it was literally, like, what the hell? You could, I mean, it was just loose as could be. Anyway, replaced the, the skid plate, pinched all that together, took up 90% of that slack. It was crazy. I couldn't believe that it made that much of a difference. One little screw. Of all the things holding this thing together, that one little screw right there, you know, yep, everything is just so integral, you know, and the more modern, the more it seems to be, these RC cars, everything wraps around something, works in unison to disperse load and impact and everything else, anyway, <laughs> on the bright side one great thing about it I've <laughs> I could now tear this rear end apart in my sleep it, people say these summits are really difficult or they're over complicated I disagree they're actually pretty simple the e-revo platform in general I think it's kind of uh, really awesome it's been around for a long time I kind of see it like the great white shark of RC cars it doesn't need to change it's just just cool but it's quirky but you learn its quirks it's not difficult <laughs> it can be frustrating as with all of it but not really all that difficult hobby wing what is that it's an easy run max 8 combo the motor is <laughs> well it's powerful and it can crawl I've been trying to make a crawler slash basher, not a basher slash crawler, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to tighten everything up, take out all the slack everywhere that I can. I put that, uh... All right, got to pull away for a second. Totally forgot what I was talking about. Totally lost. Whatever. Anyway, and now that I've got it working, now I'm going to put, I'm going to take it all apart one more time. And I'm going to put some hot glue between the differential and the bulkhead. 
uh, take up what little bit of slack there is left in that. I think that slack is just from the diff housing itself. That's the only thing that's still stuck in that rear end, and I think there's just enough plastic wore off of it from it being loose yesteryear. So instead of replacing the housing and the rest of that, I'm going to try some hot glue. We'll see what happens. I, I got to looking around. Apparently, that's a pretty common fix for such a thing. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. What on the earth? All right, so Eileen ordered a camcorder. This is what they sent her. Evil genius. Evil genius. Passed out gnome. But up. Uh, absolutely terrible. <laughs> this is so wrong. It's like they played a prank. They were like, oh, she thinks she's getting a camcorder. Wow. Oh. oh, that's so wrong. Was that AliExpress? No, it was yeah. eBay. eBay? Yeah. Let me see. The best eBay camera purchase ever. <laughs> what a great camcorder. <laughs> Top tier quality right here. Maybe it's a spy cam, dude. Did you check his... Check the O? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So anyway, replaced... Obviously, front and rear center drive shafts. With these hot racing, they seem like they're pretty good. Yep, I got hot racing drive shafts for it. And what I'm really excited about are these. These are hubs that are supposed to take the slack out because, man, these hubs on these axles, just that little bit of play makes the tires just... Eventually, folks, I'll get some video of it running. Hopefully it'll be right. Hopefully it's not just a few minutes and then it explodes. I'm a little concerned given the size of the power plant and everything else. So the plastic gears and the transmission are a little worrisome, but I hear they can put up with quite a bit. We'll see. We'll find out. It's uh, it's either going to be awesome or a big old turd that was a giant waste of money and time. But sorry, I don't have any running footage of anything. It's just that time of year. It's cold. It's crappy. I've got this going on. I'm, I'm turning the TRX-6 into, well, I'm, I'm putting duels on the rear. So, we got these uh, Ot 6 Voodoo wheels, or tires I mean, some cheap eBay Enjora wheels, I'm going to use these for the interior, because they've actually got hubs, unlike my G-Made white steelies, they're all one piece, but I got some cheap Enjoras used on eBay. My eBay purchase actually went well, I didn't get a gnome with his butt in the air. <laughs> the TRX-6. Uh, Dually Project, I'll have a video on that real soon. Got the SCX-102 trail honcho that I will be putting my Intigy shock towers and pan hard mount on instead of these cheap Chinese. These, uh, these just stripped out, just, just really soft, so can't go wrong with some Intigy. This little thing has been a great little truck. It started as the ready to run trail honcho and it is, um, well, it's got the same little Savox servo like I put in the sun because in this truck, it has done great. I mean, it's kind of small, but I've never felt that it was underpowered. It's always, I don't know, it's been reliable. I've been running it for almost a year and it's just, taken quite a beating never given me any trouble can't go wrong price is right it's got the motor I replaced with this is the stock motor out of my axial wraith spawn but the ESC in this truck this is still stock and the stock receiver and radio because it works it works well it puts out enough to keep this little servo going and <laughs> As far as scale trucks go, the trail honcho, I think, was a win. I've had nothing but fun with this thing. Everything's been easy. Be a great starter truck. Anyway, we'll get that running. Get that out going soon. We'll have running footage of it as well. I've got my felony that I'm doing the Lamborghini body for. This, uh, this particular car has the felony rear wheels all the way around. 
so they're bigger and so I had to take a little extra meat out of the body to fit all of that on there it's looking like something out of GTA or something but <laughs> I hope it turns out okay still don't know what I'm doing with it I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna paint it chrome it's a Lamborghini it needs to be ridiculous I need to sand the bottoms and do do a little bit of work on it but should be cool yeah get a little well, speed in our lives instead of always going slow with the crawlers and stuff. It'll be a good thing So that's it. That's a quick rundown of stuff. I've been working on a little progress report promise sooner or later We'll get some actual running footage of breaking things and having fun instead of just you know doing the winter stuff Thanks for watching under a rock like and subscribe and all that. You know the drill. Take care folks